So let's talk about hypoglycemic reactions with diabetes, okay? People that are diabetics, they're taking medications like insulin, and they end up with this low blood sugar situation. It's very common. 90% of diabetics using insulin have or end up with a low blood sugar situation. Okay. So the medical solution to hypoglycemia is a complication of this treatment for diabetes. But if I had this condition, the question that I would ask would be, why is the blood sugars dropping down too far in the first place? Okay. And the only correct answer would be, there's too much insulin because insulin is responsible for pushing the blood sugars too low. Okay, so that would be question number one. Hopefully, you would get an answer to that. So the next question I would wanna ask is, why am I taking so much insulin if it's gonna drive me into a hypoglycemic reaction? And why can't I take the least and not possible? Because the big side effect from insulin is damaged uh, with the retina, with the eyes, uh, with the macula, with heart, cardiovascular, uh, with the kidney, with the nervous system. There's a lot of side effects from too much insulin. So then the last and most obvious question would be, how can I take the least amount of insulin or medication to keep my blood sugars normal and not too low or too high? And this is where we wanna pull this book out right here, Merck's Manual, and let's see what they say about hypoglycemia, okay? Under treatment, it says, the single most useful treatment for hypoglycemia that follows meals is a diet high in protein and restricted in carbohydrate. Now that's some good advice, okay? I like that advice. Protein will instantly make you feel better instead of taking sugar. So that's one thing I would recommend. And they say restrict carbohydrate, that's awesome. But why don't they go on to say, diabetic patients taking insulin should always carry sugar lumps or candy with them, and the patient family and friends should be instructed to recognize the symptoms of hypoglycemia and giving the emergency treatment mentioned above. So here's the problem that I see. There's this huge focus and attention on managing this complication of hypoglycemia without focusing on the root issue, which is basically how can we take the least amount of insulin as possible and to the point where maybe we can even come off the insulin, okay? So the two things that I'm gonna recommend would be to definitely lower the carbohydrates and eat less frequently. Now in the transition, you would want to um, add more fat to the diet so you could go longer. You'd wanna do a ketogenic program. You would definitely wanna do intermittent fasting because that's ultimately gonna bring your insulin down as low as possible. And just in summary, yes, I know you're gonna feel better by consuming protein if you have low blood sugars. And you're gonna feel better if, even if you have candy because it's gonna temporarily bring you up, but you're never gonna correct this high level of insulin which is dropping you into a low blood sugar situation. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're interested in finding out the underlying cause of your body issues, click the link below and take the evaluation quiz.